In this tutorial, we're going to do a basic overview of working with text-based variables in Storyline. Now, as a quick review, when you're working with variables, there's generally three things that have to happen. One is you have to create the variable. The second is that you have a trigger that adjusts the value of the variable. And the third thing is that you have a trigger where you can use the value of that variable to do something. Now, text-based variables are a little bit different because they require a data entry. So we'll create a data entry box and when you enter your data, that essentially captures the value of the variable. So that's like the trigger. And then later we can use that value in a couple of places. So one, one way we can use the value is by just displaying it on the screen. And the other way we can use the value is by taking the value and then creating a trigger based off of that. So in this first example, this is pretty common, is we're going to ask the user to add their name. So we may have a variable on here that's called your name. And when I add my name in here, I'm going to change the value. So the value is being changed. When I hit submit, I can display that value. So instead of a trigger, we're just using a reference point. So we're going to show what that current value is. So in this case, we're just showing the value that was entered, which is my name. Now this next example is a little bit different. We're still going to have a data entry box, so we enter some text, but we want them to enter required text. So if I enter my name and I hit submit, nothing happens. But if I type in ethics, that's one of the authorized text entries. So when I hit submit, it's going to come to a slide layer. So in this case, I have a trigger that says if this variable is equal to ethics, show the ethics layer. If I type in communication, and hit submit, it shows a communication layer. In the first example, we typed in our value, and then that value was just displayed on the screen. In the second example, we use a very specific value that we're looking for, in this case, ethics or communication. And when that variable is equal to that value, we can do something. So we have a trigger that'll show a layer appropriate to whatever I typed in. There are a lot of ways you can use text-based variables. Let's look at how these are built, and then you can follow along in the practice activity. You should have these slides in your download section. So go ahead and download this and follow along. Now in this particular activity, what we want to do is have the user insert their name. And then we collect that name information and then we want to display that somewhere else in the course. So the first thing we need to do is have a way for them to enter the name. So we're going to go to Insert. Go over to your Interactive Objects and click on Controls. And down here you'll see your data entry. So we'll select the text entry, but you can also do numeric entry if you're using numbers. So we're going to do data entry and we'll draw it on the screen. And then this is just like any other shape. So I, I'm going to fill it with no fill. I'll give it a white outline and we'll even make the text white. So this is where they enter the name and that's how we're going to collect that value. Now in this case you can see in the triggers panel when you added that data entry box, Storyline created a trigger for you. So it's a text entry trigger. And you can see it says set text entry equal to typed value when the control loses focus. So what that means is the, va the variable is titled text entry. So it's going to equal to whatever you type in here. Now the when control loses focus, what that means is when you're typing in here, this is the focus. When I click away, this is no longer on focus. And so then that'll trigger the change to the variable. So let's go ahead and change the name of the variable because text entry would get confusing if you have 20 text entry variables. It's text entry 1, text entry 2, text entry 3. So it's a good habit to title your variables. So we'll come up to the Variables Properties Manager. You can see you've got your variable here, text entry. To change it, just go ahead and double click and that opens up your variable box. Now you can change it. We'll call this your name. So I know, I know now what this is. So this is your name. It's a text variable and there's no value. So we hit OK. And now I can see the, the your name variable right here. I'll hit OK. Now I like to add reference points just to see if the variables are working because sometimes when you want to troubleshoot, you need to make sure the variables are working first and then you can see if the triggers are working right. So it's just as a matter of habit, I like to just insert a text box. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. And then I'll go to Insert, and then there's a Reference. And then you can find your variable. In this case, it's your name. Hit OK. 
and it displays it. Now, of course, a shortcut is just type percentage sign, the name of the variable, percentage sign. So if we preview this, the first thing we want to do is make sure that the variable is correct. So if I hit in, if I type in Tom and I click away so it's going to lose focus, I should see the variable displayed here. You can type in Ted. Same thing, it loses focus and the variable changes. So we know the variable is being collected. So we know the value of the variable is correct. So let's go ahead and set the other part. Now what I want to do is I want to use that value. So I'm going to come to another slide. And here I want to say, hey, welcome to the course. And then add whatever name they added. So it, we're going to just insert a reference point. So I just click inside the text box. Go up to Insert, Reference. Choose the variable, so whatever the variable is that you're using. And now we can say it's welcome to the ethics training and then your name. So it's going to be whatever the person entered into that text box. So let's go ahead and preview this slide. So we're going to preview the scene here. So what we're going to do is enter my name. Hit Submit. That's going to take me to the next slide. And I can see that my name is there. So this works. Or as a quick summary, the three-step process is create variable, a trigger to change the value, and then a trigger to do something with that value. When you're working with the text entry boxes, it's a little bit different because you insert the text entry box, it creates the variable for you. You can just retitle it. It also creates a trigger because it's going to say when you add your data in there, it's going to collect that. And then you just need to use a trigger. In this case, instead of a trigger, we just use a reference point. So it's still a three-step process. We created the variable, we collected the value, and then we use that value. Now let's look at a different way to work with the variables. Now this activity is a little bit different. We're still going to insert a data entry point because you have to collect the text value. But instead of displaying text like we did in the first one, in this one we're going to use specific text. So I want you to type in either ethics or communication. And then based on you typing in something, I'm going to redirect you. So if you type in ethics, I'm going to send you to this layer. If you type in communication, I'm going to send you to this layer. So let's go ahead and build that. So the first thing we need to do is add our data entry collector. So we're going to go to insert, controls, we'll do data entry. And we'll just drag that here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to fill it with no color. I'm going to add a white outline and I'll make the text white. So now what I want to do is type in the name of the course you'd like to view, Ethics or Communication. Now we need to name the variable. In the previous example I showed you how to name the variable opening the manager. The other way you can do it is just double click on it. And then it's going to open up your variable and you can edit it. And we're going to change the name. So we can call this Welcome Course. And it's going to be a text-based variable. And right now it's set at nothing. We'll hit OK. Hit OK. So now we can see there's a text entry trigger. So set Welcome Course equal to whatever I typed in here. Now I have this Submit button. The Submit button does nothing. The reason I have the Submit button is because people expect to submit. Because this is not going to another slide. In the previous example, we went from this slide to this, so we needed a trigger to do that. In this case, I just have a submit button because it makes people feel like they're doing something. Because once I type in here and I click away, I'm going to lose focus and the variable is going to be changed. But by having the submit button, it feels like they've done something. Now what we need to do is have a trigger. What do I want to do? When do I want to do it? I want to show the communication layer. When do I want to show the communication layer? When text entry here is equal to communication. So let's create our trigger. What do I want to do? I want to show layer. I choose my layer. When and when do I want to show that, right? So I want to show it when a variable changes. We need to select and the variable will be welcome course. So we want to show the layer communication when variable changes on the welcome course. Now we need to create our conditions. So what is the condition for that variable change? So let's add a condition. So we want to list the variables. So we'll do welcome course. So that's our variable. What's the operator? We'll say when it's 
equal to. Now you can choose the ignore case, which I like to do in case they don't capitalize. Ignore case when the value is, and then type in, we'll type in communication here. So if we read it, when variable welcome course is equal to the value of communication. So now we'll look at our trigger. Show the layer communication right here. When the variable changes, so this is the variable, and the condition is when it changes, it's equal to communication. We hit OK. Let's go ahead and preview this to see if it's working. So if I type in Tom and I hit submit, nothing happens because it's looking for something specific. If I type in communication and hit submit, it shows that layer. So we know the variable is being collected and we know that the trigger is working. Now we just need to set up the other trigger. So the nice thing with Storyline is I can copy these triggers. So I'll select this trigger and hit copy. And I'm just going to paste it. And it's virtually the same trigger. I just have to change the layer. So I'm going to double click on it and show layer ethics when this variable changes. And we just need to double click on this. We just need to say when welcome course is equal to ethics. So super fast, that quickly we've done it. So now we can show the layer communication when it's, we type in communication. And we can show our layer ethics when we type in ethics. So let's go ahead and preview this to make sure it's working. Ethics, and there's our ethics layer. Communication, there's our communication layer. Type in something else, test. Hit submit, nothing happens. Now if you wanted to, you could create another layer that evaluates if something different was typed in and you could say you didn't type in the right words. That would be a good challenge activity for you. In the two examples we looked at, in one example we just displayed the value by using one of those text references. So we're just going to show you what the value is and your name is a good example of that. And then the other one we actually looked for specific text entry and whatever you entered in there we're able to display uh, the information we wanted to show. In this case, we triggered a slide layer. A lot of ways you can use variables, a lot of ways you can use text-based variables. The key is to practice this and then find a way to use it in your next course.